a Wikivide documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Roddy Edmonds Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds was a Master Sergeant of the 422nd Infantry Regiment in the United States Army during World War II, who was captured and became the ranking U.S. non-commissioned officer at the Stalignina Prisoner of War Camp in Germany, where, at the risk of his life, he prevented an estimated 200 Jews from being singled out from the camp for Nazi persecution and possible death. For his defense of Jewish servicemen at the POW camp, Edmonds, a Christian, was awarded the title, Righteous Among the Nations, Israel's highest award for non-Jews who risked their own lives to save Jews during the Holocaust, of 25,000 people, worldwide, to receive the award by early 2016. Edmonds was the fifth American, and the first American serviceman from World War II, to be so recognized. His service was the subject of a politically sensitive speech by President Barack Obama at the Israeli Embassy in Washington. World War II Edmonds, along with other inexperienced troops, arrived in the combat zone December 1944, with the 106th Infantry Division, arriving only five days before Germany launched a massive counteroffensive, Battle of the Bulge. During the battle, on 19 December 1944, Edmonds was captured by Nazi forces, and sent to a German prisoner of war camp, Stalag 9B. Shortly thereafter, he was transferred, with other enlisted personnel, to another POW camp near Zegenhain, Germany, to Stalag 9A. As the senior non-commissioned officer at the new camp, Master Sergeant Edmonds was responsible for the camp's 1,275 American POWs. On their first day in Stalag 9A, January 27, 1945, as Germany's defeat was clearly approaching, the camp commandant ordered Edmonds to tell only the Jewish American soldiers to present themselves at the next morning's assembly so they could be separated from the other prisoners. Instead, Edmonds ordered all 1,275 POWs to assemble outside their barracks. The German commandant rushed up to Edmonds in a fury, placed his pistol against Edmonds' head, and demanded that Edmonds identify the Jewish soldiers under his command. Instead, Edmonds responded, We are all Jews here, and told the commandant that if he wanted to shoot the Jews he'd have to shoot all of the prisoners. Edmonds then warned the commandant that if he harmed any of Edmonds' men, the commandant would be investigated and prosecuted for war crimes after the conflict ended, since the Geneva Conventions required prisoners to give only their name, rank, and serial number. Religion was not required, the commandant backed down. Edmonds' actions are credited with saving up to 200 Jewish American soldiers from possible death. Edmonds survived 100 days of captivity, and returned home after the war, but kept the event at the POW camp to himself. Post-war life Edmonds never told his family of the event at the POW camp. He was again recruited to service during the Korean War. He died in 1985, having never received any official recognition, citation, or medal for his defense of the Jewish bows. Posthumous recognition As late as February 2017, Edmund's act had never been recognized officially by the U.S. government. After his death in 1985, Edmund's wife gave his son, Baptist Reverend Chris Edmonds, a couple of the diaries his father had kept while in the POW camp. Reverend Edmonds began researching his story, and stumbled upon a mention of the event at the power camp. The younger Edmonds located several of the Jewish soldiers his father saved, who provided witness statements to Yad Vashem. Among the Jewish American POW servicemen who were saved was Sonny Fox, American television host and executive, who witnessed, and in interviews speaks of, Edmonds' actions. On 10 February 2015, Yad Vashem recognized Edmonds as righteous among the nations, Israel's highest honor for non-Jews who risked their lives to save Jews during the Holocaust. The award ceremony was held January 27, 2016, at the Israeli Embassy in Washington, D.C., where the then-President Barack Obama praised Edmonds for action above and beyond the call of duty, and echoed Edmonds' statement of solidarity with Jews. Chris Edmonds received the Righteous Medal and Certificate of Honor from the Israeli Ambassador, Ron Derma, and Yad Vashem Council Chairman, 
Rabbi Lau on his father's behalf. At the ceremony, Edmund seemed like an ordinary American soldier. But he had an extraordinary sense of responsibility and dedication to his fellow human beings. Yad Vashem Chairman Avner Shalev. Reverend. Edmunds has sought to have his father's bravery recognized with the Medal of Honor for Edmunds' unusual act at the POW camp. However, the initial U.S. Army position has been that he was a captive, and therefore ineligible, because his actions were not in combat. To overcome this obstacle, in the U.S. House of Representatives, March 23, 2016, during the 114th Congress, Rep. John J. Duncan Jr. introduced H.R.4863, the Roddy Edmonds Congressional Gold Medal Act, Bill. It was referred to the House Armed Services Committee, from where it was referred, on April 5, 2016, to the Subcommittee on Military Personnel. As of April 11, 2018, the bill remains stalled in the Subcommittee, and its purpose has changed so that it authorizes the President to award the Medal of Honor to Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds for acts of valor in World War II to save the lives of more than 200 Jewish members of the armed forces. On February 13, 2017, members of the U.S. Congress from the Elder Edmonds home state of Tennessee, U.S., Senators Lamar Alexander and Bob Corker, joined by Senators Tim Kaine and Ben Cardian introduced a bill to have Sergeant Edmonds honored with the Congressional Gold Medal, one of the United States' two highest awards. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?